What's going on you guys back again with another video as usual we ain't got the crazy shirt on today because we're actually out here at my main job you know I get a lot of people that keep on trying to ask they're like you know how are you able to do both do your regular job and do lawn care part-time one of the things is is uh, you know I always try to worry about the you know the the route density where I'm at especially here in the big city because it gets a little hard trying to balance you know, going home get your trailer go out to the other side of town you know what I mean where it's just you know it's not really time efficient to, to do that so sometimes I just load up everything and I bring my truck and trailer to work with me. Basically, as you guys can see back there, yeah, I got everything back there. So I, I go ahead and I bring my trailer, my trimmer, everything to work with me, which is pretty good because I don't have to really worry about somebody really messing with my stuff out here because, uh, you know, we got security and all that other crazy stuff, you know, where I know some people's, you know, jobs, you couldn't get away with doing this. Say if you were a manager at like Burger King or something like that, you might be able to park this out there until somebody else didn't like it and they could say something. I'm not actually the only person that does this too because I, there are other people that actually, you know, they bring their trailers out here too and uh, they grind too. There's people, I, if you look at some of the trailers leaving that they're full blown, you know, lawn spraying companies, they have their whole rig on the back of their truck. Of course, you know, the, the trailers, but I, I don't know how it is about an enclosed trailer though, trying to come with an enclosed trailer. I think that'd be a little bit different but the open trailer which I prefer until I probably try a enclosed one then I might like that one better but the, the open trailer they can see everything I always try to certain I'd say about two three days a week I'll bring my truck and trailer with me some some days I you know it just depends on how, how it is with the rain and stuff like that I won't bring it at all being closer to some of these yards that are closer to my my job you know here in Oklahoma City I've kind of focused on the northwest side of town but I do have some in you know some of the outlying cities I don't really have none of my signs on the trailer or anything like that but I need to probably get some more signs on the side of the truck it's just one of those things where you know we're grinding you know we're growing this as you guys can see from the, the previous videos I used to bring my little HHR with the mower inside the vehicle it's funny going through you know the checkpoints and stuff like that they're like what is that a mower inside the front of your car I'm like yep sure is so it was uh, always kind of a laugh and a chuckle but you know the only one laughing is the other people because you know you're making money and you got to do some things to make your money you know if you got to put your mower in the back of your car you got to do it i didn't have the opportunity like some people where you could just throw it in the back of a truck you know i had to make do with what i had and it was always a running joke you know with some of the people out here you know i made it work i did it and uh, i grew it the thing is is being to capitalize and making your business work for you eventually you know i'll be to the point where i could have help that could help me out you know i tell the people out here like man where do you get time i, I tell them I say hey i'm not to the point where i'm super busy like the first season yes i was i was crazy busy all over the place it just it was too much for me so to say you know if i was a single job person and that's all i did i could i could manage and uh, i tell them i can be as hungry as i want to be or not you know because you can bid these yards and do them cheap and get a lot of work but this year i've really been focusing on bidding higher to the point where you know it's if i get one or two then i'm fine with that because uh, i'm not trying to go out there and just put all that work in for smaller amounts of money you know it's got to be beneficial for me and, and i'm still to the point now where i'm t totally teetering on the bi-weekly and weekly lawns where i'm to the point where do i want to get rid of my bi-weeklies and just focus on the weeklies because like from a part-time perspective i could have seven no i could have 14 weeklies no take that back i could have 14 bi-weeklies if i could get rid of them and get seven weeklies maybe at a higher rate to make more money or you know just easier on me because there's some of these yards when it rains so much that i have to go out there and i have to sit there and bust butt you know double cut these yards and it's just to the point where i'm just getting kind of tired of it a little bit where if i had a weekly I know what I'm expecting, you know what I mean? They're taking it a little bit more serious. It's, I'm not to that point yet where I've totally uh, cut off all my bi-weeklies, you know, I'm still kind of doing them, I'm still doing them, but I'm to the point where, you know, like I'd say this last week, I had my big guy, he wants me to start doing all five of his properties weekly now. So basically that's almost like having 10 bi-weeklies, you know, so it just makes more sense to maybe cut down and focus more on the weeklies i can see and i understand where a lot of these bigger companies are you know they, they'll tell you they're like we don't take on any bi-weeklies it's just weekly either weekly or we don't do it and i can see where it's just it's easier it's more efficient it's more proficient to be able to maintain those weekly yards so you know that's one of the things i'm really going to focus on today we got one easy yard i kind of like 
break it on out um i use the pro stance in the front and maybe um the the push mower in the back so get a little bit of the the double action today with the mower so we'll hit that up and uh yeah show you guys what i kind of do i got all my gear with me my equipment rocking the new hat which you guys haven't seen from columbia this is from from columbia i had my um, wife's mother bring it to me when she came and visited last summer i just never wore it but it actually really helps out it, it helps keep me cool you know vice the regular hat so we'll be wear, rocking that hat now and um yeah just out here making this money stay tuned let's get this money let's get these yards watch it all right you guys and just like that we are in our work clothes went from our regular old clothes not that i have to wear a uniform or anything like that out there on base gotta look a little presentable but yeah, as i showed you guys got the trailer bring trailer to, to work day i like i said i do that a couple days out of the week you know because i'm running this part time i gotta be able to have my gear with me so i can go take care of yards right afterwards where some days can get a little crazy don't get me wrong when the weather you know backs up and stuff that kind of put a hinder on you know getting your your yards done I, my warm spot for getting yards is about like two maybe three yards a day and it's not always like that like i said i've dropped a few customers which gives me a little bit more breathing room some of the customers moved away i really haven't been attacking it too much like i have the previous years still picking up customers staying steady with my residual customers from year after year it's one of those things where i'm good i'm perfect where i'm at you know because i got a good job where i i mean my daytime job is pretty pretty darn good i'm just out here you know grinding making this money showed you guys from my prior videos you know showing you how you can do it too yeah we're out here on our yard brought the trailer to work and you know we're gonna bang it on out i got um pretty much just this one for today usually i try to you know build them up together but this one the green tail lawn so you can't kind of like you know push it off a little bit you know when you got to get done you got to get it done so that's one thing i don't really care about the green pal app is them it's almost like they're forcing you but it's kind of good though because you can keep on hitting it week after week after week if they book weekly so yeah let's get out here let's do this lawn let's get it 